Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum under the chapter financial decision under the subtopic dividend policy. From this chapter, the very first type of sum that we need to learn is solving the problem sums of dividend policy under Walter's method or Walter's model. Okay, again, a very important topic for all the SYVBI SEM3 students studying the subject financial management part one okay now this particular topic has three parts basically three types of sums are available in this particular topic that is under dividend policy of which this is the very first part okay where we are going to solve some based on walter's model so let us see how to solve the sum based on walter's model okay under walter model the main formula is where we are going to find the value of shares equal to d plus r upon ke into e minus d upon ke where v stands for the market value of the share r is the rate of return on inv investment k is the cost of capital e is the earning per share and d is the dividend per share this is the main formula okay i would like everyone to note down this formula because in each and every sum this is the formula that we'll have to apply now along with the main formula there can be few things extra which can be asked okay for deciding whether it is optimum payout ratio or sometimes they can ask you is it an optimum decision so here are the three conditions if your r that is your rate of return if it is more than your cost of capital the firm should have zero payout and make investment if your rate of return is less than your cost of capital the firm should have 100 percent payout and if uh, the both of them are same the firm is in difference between dividend and investment meaning if your rate of return is more than your cost of capital the firm should not give any dividend if it is less then the firm should give full dividend and otherwise it is up to the company whether they want to give or not give okay so there are these three conditions that needs to be uh, at times they can ask you to say whether it is optimum or not so that can be noted down other than this there are few other formulas uh, supporting formulas which are required <coughs> Dividend is equal to dividend percent into earning if the dividend is given in percentage form Earning per share uh, if not given the formula will be total earning upon number of shares Okay, if they give you total earnings, so we need earning per share Similarly dividend per share is total dividend upon number of shares Cost of equity or cost of capital ka formula is 1 upon PE ratio where PE stands for price earning ratio when uh, dividend payout ratio is given then the dividend will be dividend payout ratio into the number of in, into the value of earnings and rate of return is total earning upon total capital so these are all supporting formulas which you can use under the sums okay so see that you'll even note down all these formulas okay now based on all these formulas and the rule let us see how to solve problem sum based on walter's model Okay, now this is the first question under Walter's method under the chapter dividend decision. We'll read the question once. Uh, the question is given that from the following information supplied to you, determine the theoretical market value of equity share of the company as per Walter's model. They have given you the total earnings of the company, uh, dividend paid, that is total dividend, number of shares outstanding, that is the nothing but number of shares, price earning ratio and rate of return on investment now always remember uh, in order to solve the sum you need four values number one you need earning per share you need dividend per share you need rate of return and you need cost of capital okay these are the four most important things that you require once you have these four values, you can easily substitute into the value of walter's model and get the final answer okay so now let us see one by one what data is available and what we can use basically okay so now very first thing that you require is your e okay that is nothing but earning per share now remember earning per share should be per share ka value but in the question they have given you you know total earnings so whenever total earning is given a uh, earning per share ka formula we'll have to we'll note down the formula first okay in order to find earning per share the formula will be total earnings upon number of shares 
Okay, now if you can look into the question, they are giving you total earning is rupees 5 lakhs. And the number of shares are, fifth, sorry, 1 lakh. So when you divide, you will get rupees 5 per share. Okay, so our earning per share is rupees 5. After we find that, we need to find dividend per share, D. Again, that will be total dividend upon number of shares. We are using this formula because they are not giving us per share, they are giving you the total amount. So, number of shares. So, now the total dividend given in the question was 3 lakhs. And the number of shares uh, which are given in the question is 1 lakh. So, the total comes to rupees 3. Okay. The next thing is we need to find, uh, uh, they have given you rate of return directly. So, R is given to us directly that is 15%, that is 0 0.15. Last thing which I require is cost of capital. Now, cost of capital they haven't given me directly. So, we'll use the formula. Cost of capital is nothing but 1 upon price earning ratio. Now, in the sum, in the question, they have given you the price earning ratio that is 8. So, it will be 1 divided by 8 which will come to 0 0.125. Okay. Once we have got all the 4 data, now it is the, the most simplest part. We just need to substitute. So, value of share. We need to find the value of share. So, V is equal to as per Walter's model. The formula is dividend plus rate of return upon cost of capital into E that is earning minus dividend the whole thing upon cost of capital okay so once you get this we will substitute the value D is the dividend that was rupees 3 plus rate of return is 0 0.15 upon 0 0.125 into earning is 5 dividend is 3 the whole thing upon 0 0.125 okay now very simple just remember the procedure how to solve okay first we will subtract 5 minus 3 that will come 2 then you divide 0 0.15 uh, with 0 0.125 whatever answer you get you multiply by 2 you add to 3 that's a numerator divided by 0 0.125 and that will give you a final answer approximately amount would should be 43.2 rupees per share that is the value of share as per walters model okay now along with this so this is the part what we found now that asked us what should be the optimal dividend uh, you know they are giving you a question see if you look at the last part of the question they are, are you satisfied with the current dividend policy now, in order to answer this, it's very simple. You know, previously we noted the three optimal situation where we need to compare the value of R with KE. So now you look here, your R and KE ka value you have to check and see which one is the greater one. The R was 15% uh, and KE was 12.5%. So in this case, your R is rate of return basically is greater than cost of capital. And whenever such thing happens, when your rate of return is more than your cost of capital, the solution comes to us no dividend shall be declared. Okay, when your rate of return is more than a cost of capital, the company should not declare any dividend and vice versa. If the rate of return is less than cost of capital, 100% dividend should be declared by the company. So this was the very first sum based on Walter's model. Again, now we are going to jump to the next one. A little different variation. Let us see how to do that. Okay, now let us see the next question. Okay, now the question says, reads out that, the earning per share of a company is rupees 8. The rate of capitalization application is 10%. So they are giving you earning per share. They are giving you cost of capital. The company has before, before it an option of adapting 50, 70 and 100% dividend payout ratio. So three different payout ratios are given to us. 
compute the market price of the company quoted uh, share as per Walters model. If it can earn a return at 15%, 10% or 5% on its retained earning. So now here we have been given three different dividend payout ratio and three different rate of returns. Okay, so what we'll be doing here is we will be solving the sum uh, in three parts. Okay, first we'll take up uh, when the dividend payout ratio is 50. Under that we'll have three subtypes where we'll have, you know, we'll have at 15%, at 10% and 5%. Okay, so basically we are going to solve the sum in, in 3 by 3, so it will be 9 values that we will be finding out, okay. Now, before starting the sum, what we will do here is, we will first note down the formula. Now, everyone knows the formula. Under Walter's method, value of share is equal to dividend plus rate of return upon, you know, cost of capital. So, R, we can just write this as R into E minus D, the whole thing upon cost of capital so i'm keeping the formula constant so i don't need to show again and again the formula for each i wrote the uh, the formula once and then now directly we can substitute into the values okay so chalo, let us see one by one first what we are going to do is when we'll take number one when dividend payout is 50 percent so i'll write here number one when dividend payout equals to 50 percent now under that we have three condition a when your returns are 15 percent that is 0 0.15 b when your returns are 10 percent so that will be 0 0.10 and c when your returns are 5 percent so that will be 0 0.05 okay the formula remains the same okay so chalo, let us see one by one the value now dividend they said here the dividend is 50 percent now remember dividend payout is 50 percent dividend is always calculated on the earning per share okay dividend is always calculated on earning per share the earning per share in the question is 8 rupees so 8 rupees into 50 percent will give you 4 rupees so our dividend is 4 plus Return in the first case will be 0 0.15. The cost of capital given in the sum is already given in the sum as 0 0.1, 10%. So that is 0 0.10. Into earning, which was 8 minus dividend, which is 4. Upon cost of capital, which is 0 0.10. Again, the solving logic is same. You first minus, you divide, you multiply them. Whatever answer you get, you add it with 4, you get your numerator, you divide by your denominator and you, you should get your value of share as per the first part or subtype as rupees 100. Okay, I would like everyone to solve it and check if all of you get that rupees 100 as your value of that particular share. Okay, that's the very first type or very first part that we did. Okay, now the second order in the second part where your rate of return is 10. Okay, again, we are finding the value of share. Dividend again the same thing. The earning per share was 8. Uska 50 percent we are going to take. So that's going to be 4 rupees, the dividend. Plus the rate of return is now in this case 0 0.10 upon 0 0.10 cost of capital. Earning was 8. Dividend is 4 upon 0 0.10. Okay, again, same thing, you minus, you divide, you multiply, whatever answer you get, add it to 4 and then divide with the denominator. The value of share that you all should get in this case is rupees 80. Again, we jump to the third one. Okay, again, dividend remains the same, which is 4. The rate of return is 0 0.05 upon cost of capital. Again, 8 minus 4, that is earning minus dividend upon 0 0.10, that is cost of capital. Same logic of solving, you get the answer as rupees 60. Okay, so that was the very first part where the dividend payout is 50%. Now let us take the second one. What if now the dividend payout equals 75%? 
so earning into 75 percent okay this was dividend payout at 50 percent now we are going to do dividend payout at 75 percent so 8 rupees is earning per share into 75 percent will give you 6 rupees so now our dividend is going to be 6 rupees again under that we'll have three sub condition where your rate of return is 15 percent rate of return is 10 percent and rate of return is 5 percent again we are finding the value of shares so v is equal to dividend 75 percent of 8 rupees earnings is 6 rupees so your dividend now is 6 plus 0 0.15 upon 0 0.10 into earning minus dividend upon cost of capital same you minus divide multiply add divide your answer that you should get is rupees 90 for the second part again dividend is 6 the rate of return is 0 0.10 upon cost of capital earning minus dividend upon cost of capital the answer that you all should get for the second part is rupees 80 same way for the third uh, 6 plus 0 0.05 upon 0 0.10 8 minus 6 upon 0 0.10 the answer that you all should get is rupees 70 Okay, this was based on dividend payout when it is 75%. And now we come to the last, we jump to the last part. That's the third part. What if your dividend payout, dividend payout is 100%. So 100% is the 100% of earning. So 8 into 100% is 8 rupees. Again, we have three condition when R is 15%. When your your b part when your r is 0 0.10 and when your r is 0 0.05 formula remains the same so v is equal to dividend in our case is now 8 rupees because 100 percent plus 0 0.15 upon 0 0.10 into 8 minus 8 upon 0 0.10 in that case your final value should have been rupees 80 okay because when you divide you multiply with 0 the value will be 0 so it's just 8 upon 1 upon 10 uh, uh, in a 0.01 in the second part it will be again 8 plus 0 0.10 upon 0 0.10 into 8 minus 8 upon 0 0.10 again you will get the same value as 80 and for the last one, 8 plus 0 0.05 upon 0 0.10 into 8 minus 8 upon 0 0.10. Again, you will get the answer as rupees 80. So this is how you all had to solve, uh, you know, the sum where they had given you multiple options. Okay. The formula is very simple. You just need to get those values. And once you get the value, you just need to substitute it into the formula. Okay. With this, we were able to solve two problem sums under the Walter model under the chapter Dividend Decision. I hope everyone have understood that. With that, we will be ending this video. Thank you.